Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best and fastest way to level up sniper rifles here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The Cat AMR is a pain in the ass. It is a lot of work to get this thing leveled up, but with this guide, you can get it leveled up to max level in probably 30 to 45 minutes, and that goes for the other snipers as well. Now, the Longbow and the KV Inhibitor are significantly better than the uh, AMR, but, um, you know to each their own, whatever sniper you need, or if you just want to, you know, grind for camos, whatever the case may be that you're here on this video, this is going to apply to all three of them, and it can apply to some of the longer range rifles, but specifically sniper rifles is what I am primarily making this guide for. Uh, so the class you probably want to run is the Engineer Vest. It's going to give you three decoy grenades, and it's going to allow you to run a TAC insert. The TAC insert is very important, and then, uh, you know, your, your equipment, do whatever you want. I would recommend the commando gloves, running sneakers, EOD padding, and mag holster. That way, you know, if you are running the Cat AMR, the mag holster really helps because the reload is slow as hell. And I even have the seven rounder on, which makes it even slower. So we're going to be hopping into Invasion. Invasion is hands down the best way to level up snipers. I have tried zombies. I have tried playing solely objective. I have tried just getting kills on other maps. I've tried ground war. Invasion is 100% the best way, and it was for a little bit in Modern Warfare 2 as well, and that's why I tried Invasion, because I was like, what if they haven't patched it yet? What if they haven't, you know, made the change that was made in Modern Warfare 2? There was a lot of nerfs to weapon XP gain from the AI soldiers that spawn in, in Invasion, and that's what we're going to be taking advantage of. When we play Invasion, there is a ton of AI soldiers throughout the entire game. And when you're sniping, it's very easy to take them down in one shot. Uh, for the first half of the game, they spawn in with no armor. After that, they spawn in with armor and it is going to take multiple shots to take down multiple of the uh, you know AI that come in. The hostile soldiers is what they're called. It took me probably two hours to get all three sniper rifles to max level. Uh, Levin Resort is the best map, in my opinion, for farming the AI. Uh, you know, there's two sides, there's two spawn points, there's two places I would recommend going uh, if you're going to be, you know, primarily farming the AI. Uh, so whatever side, you know, I get is the one that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to play multiple games, but, um, you know, there is plenty of spots to snipe from and plenty of AI to kill during the first half of the game when they will be one shot, one kills. And for each AI kill, you get 100 XP. It's normal It's normal player XP. So you get the same amount from killing an AI that you do from killing a regular player. And that's where the most advantage comes from. I was getting about six weapon levels a game. And if you really want to maximize, you can leave the game halfway through. You don't have to stay and kill the guys with armor. You can literally just leave and then start up another invasion. Now, you might get another map. The power map, you know, go up on the cranes. And then there's uh, one other one. I can't remember what it's called, but there's places to snipe and kill AI everywhere. And if you want, you can just throw a red dot on like your longbow or something and you can uh, get up close and personal with the AMR. I think you can only put like a 2.5x, but um, you know, there, there's plenty, plenty of stuff for you to do. So let's see what spawn we get here. Either or is fine by me. All right, so with this spawn, we are going to uh, go up on the roof, and um, we're going to die pretty much right away from being on the roof, but usually you can get about seven AI kills first, and, um, you know, we'll do our best. But if I would spawn on the other side, there is a small little box on the left side of the map that you can head glitch on, and it's very good. After we die off the roof, we are actually going to be coming back up to this uh, second level here, and I can show you here as we're about to pass it. Uh, right here on this edge it's like right there that box i just aimed at that's where we're going to be sitting in the uh in the second half here so this guy's already camping the shit i'm honestly not surprised see you later bud so what i do off the rip right here if i don't die to these losers okay that <laughs> guy's buns i sit right here and i just start farming There's a player. I mean, you can just see the XP racking up, dude. Another AI, and I'm sniped. So, I do that every single time off the rip, just for maximum visibility uh, as the AI are pushing in. And then, uh, from here, I'll do what I told you. So, I'll show you where I put my tack insert. 
start throwing these decoys. Might be a guy over here. Toss the decoys all around. It's going to be free XP. Um, usually, I will put the tack insert, like, right here. And then I run over here. Clear this lane, and then hop right here, and this is the heady I sit on. Dude, I think that guy's, like, in the wrong skill bracket, and I actually kind of feel bad about it. So somebody's sniping. I should have watched kill cam. Because we need to take him out, but... We can survive enough enough time here to get the uh, next tack insert up. Let's see if I can see the glint. There it is. He's he's on my spot. Where that guy just died, that's exactly where I sit on that spawn. So from here, you can uh, snipe the AI out of the helicopters when they're coming in too. Another AI there. I choked. I think that's a player. And there's a guy sniping right there. So, I mean, a lot of people already know about this. There's a ton of people in here sniping. And um, it's honestly the meta. It's 100% the meta to leveling your weapons right now. And um, I, I would even say, like, all weapons, it's it's the best way. Personally, I, I could be wrong, but... Just being able to kill the AI and get full XP amounts, not anything, you know, cut in half or whatever. Uh, it's definitely the best way. So right here, you can see the guy sniping him out of the chopper. We just killed one there. It's just it's just the best way. I mean, I don't really have to explain any more than this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, there's going to be guys in your spawn like that. You're just going to have to deal with it. The main reason we have the tack insert on is because you can't spawn anywhere. You can't spawn on anybody. It gives you a spawn back in your base. So with the tack insert, uh, you make things a little bit easier for yourself. So do me a huge favor, guys. Make sure you're dropping a like on this one. And, of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Uh, sponsored in the description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.